it's time to upgrade the NAS. So this is my water-cooled NAS. It's definitely overkill. It has an 8700K delitted with liquid metal overclocked at five gigahertz all core. It does have 16 gigs of RAM. We're gonna upgrade that to 64 gigs of Kingston Fury Beast RAM with some RGB just because. It does have six eight terabyte hard drives. We're gonna leave those alone. They're in RAID Z2, which is RAID 6 for true NAS, but we are gonna add some cash. So this is the MSI Spadium M470 NVMe drive. It is way overkill for this. It's PCI Gen 4.0. This motherboard is only gonna to go to 3.0, but in terms of read and writes, this thing is still ridiculously fast, obviously. So that's gonna help with some of my continuous file transfers or when I'm video editing or something like that. So uh, this is filthy. I haven't opened this in over a year and it was in a room with some construction going on. So I need to uh, take it outside. <laughs> Not the cleanest of jobs, but it did the trick. So here are these six eight terabyte hard drives. This is an RX 550 just for some transcoding stuff. And now we're gonna remove this very old style of RAM, 16 gigs right here. And now doing the very overkill job of adding 64 gigs of Kingston Fury DDR4 RAM. Here we go. And here we go, 64 gigs of RAM. Now, when it comes to adding the Spadium M470 NVMe drive, I have to be careful because even though there are three NVMe drive slots right here, one of them, this one in particular, would actually knock out two of these SATA ports here and then make my RAID 6 bunk. I wouldn't be able to use it. So I can use this one down here and that one right there. Reading your motherboard manual will always tell you what ports you can actually use and which ones would actually get knocked out. I love using these electric screwdrivers. This one is by Fantic. And we're just gonna pop this right over there. Quick unscrew. The NVMe drive is installed. We have the RAM all installed. Time to plug in our 10 gig line right here. There we go. You'll notice these are not RJ45. These are actually SPF. Hit the power button. And here we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Your water-cooled NAS, 64 gigs of RAM, and a two terabyte yeah, NVMe cache drive. Not bad. And this is plugged into my 10 gig switch, so I can edit 4K video directly from this. Having RAID 6 with six eight terabyte hard drives is so fast, it's basically faster than what 4K video actually needs, so it's nice. And the true NAS server is up and running, and yes, I do have this painted with my gaming avatar, the poets and barbed wire. Here we have 64 gigs of memory, true NAS. You'll notice the 10 gig base right here. And then if we go to storage and pools, click on add VDEVs in the settings. And here we have our two terabyte MSI NVMe drive. We're going to go ahead and use the drop down, go to logs and click on this and add it to the log. So this is actually going to enhance our rewrite speed. And now we need to sync that drive to my storage pool. So we're gonna go into the options here. And for sync, we're gonna say always. And then click save. 